Hello and welcome to Riddock at Home. My name's Lisa and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bit of abstract art for your wall on a dim plate. So this is one I made earlier and I just think it can be a great piece of artwork, a bit of a talking point and an original piece for your home. So let's get started. Okay, so for today's project, what you will need is firstly to find a dim plate. This is one from my kitchen cupboard from a set that I no longer use. So this is perfect for this project. A matte finish will work best. Um, any colour is fine for your plate, so long as it's a relatively plain finish. You also need some acrylic paint. So any brands are fine, so long as they're a non-toxic water-based paint that can easily wash off. Um, so choose colours that you like. So bright colours, subtle colours, it's really up to you for this one. You also need some paint brushes. So I've got flat brushes here of different widths. I've also got a foam brush. They're relatively inexpensive ones from any discount craft store. And a paint palette, cheap paint palette works really well or an ice cream lid is another option from home out of the recycling. And I've got a clear coat spray, which I will use at the end of my project to set the paint and to give it a gloss finish. For our first step, I'm going to be adding a first layer of paint. So what you're doing is adding some layers of paint, letting that dry, and then adding your next layer of colours. So I'm going to start with a couple of my dark colours. So you're just using your flat brush there's no right or wrong way. So I am just putting some random stripes of paint anywhere on my plate. And just remember, if you do something that you don't like, wash it off because it is a water-based paint. Okay, so I'm choosing another color. I might use my fine brush for this one. see there's no real plan to it and I'm not that a third colour I might go for the aqua it's a really beautiful aqua colour so I'm not letting the colours touch at this point because I don't want them to blend yet this is just background colour okay so that is our first step okay so the first layer of the paint that I've added to the plate is dry. So now I'm going to add some contrast colours. So using one of your white brushes, I'm going to choose another bright colour. And we'll go for some hot pink. So there's no real rule to this. So I am just adding that. That looks amazing. It pops straight away. So I might add just a bit more up here. That one's done. Don't need that brush anymore. Grabbing another one. I think Maybe some of the musty yellow might look great. So choosing another section that doesn't have paint on it. Again, another colour that pops straight away. So just, you don't need to be neat with this either. But just adding paint where there's space. And so now I can start to overlap the colours a bit because the first layer is dry. So I'm going to go for a third colour as well. I'm actually going to do some white to really, as you can see, white, pretty boring colour, but when you're popping it onto some dark colours beneath, it really stands out. So I'm just going to add, I've worked with quite a lot of paint in this project too, it will dry. Okay. That's my second layer. Okay, so now that I've added a couple of layers of paint, we're on to about our third or fourth layer. So now I'm going to start thinking about adding some pops of really bright colours. So I've got some fluorescent colours I've added to my palette. So I'm going to add this one here. As you can see, it, there's no hard and fast rule about where to place your colours. Just have some fun with it. Okay, and... Okay, 
so there's my last layer. I tweaked mine and just added a bit of extra white just to add some more pop to mine. Now the fun really begins. I'm going to start picking some splats of paint all over my point. So let's see how this goes. Oh. Yep. It's <laughs> not too bad. Okay, and next colour. So I'm going to change the direction this time. There's my finished product. So once that's completely dry, you do need to, well, I recommend to use a clear spray um, in a gloss to just add a layer of protection to your plate. Just keep in mind that any projects you do do like this, they're not food grade, they are not for washing or popping in the dishwasher, they are purely for a piece of artwork. But also keep in mind too, if you don't have a plate, you can use a mug or a vase or any kind of ceramic dish you've got in your house for this kind of artwork. I've um, had a bit of fun with painting some mugs as pencil holders, so they look really good as well. So enjoy.